Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chelsea, better known as Smiley Shanae here on YouTube. And today I am here with another hair video, um, kind of like a review and demonstration. But this demonstration is going to be on the Revlon Brush Blow Dryer. I finally got my hands on this. I've been seeing advertisements on Facebook and people on Instagram that have used it. So this is how the box looks. I ordered mine off of Amazon and I believe I paid almost $40, like $38 or $39. And yeah, I've used it. How many times have I used it already? I think I've maybe used this once or twice uh, for my blowouts and I mean it really I mean it works the only thing is it didn't get my roots as dry so I'm just going to kind of switch it up with today's video um, I am going to be straightening my hair flat ironing my hair but I'm not filming the flat iron process because it's it's pretty much the same nothing has changed and I have a flat iron video that I will link below. So for my roots, I'm actually gonna be tension drying my roots with my bed head blow dryer um, that I got from Ross years ago. Um, and it works just fine. So I'm gonna use that to kind of tension dry my hair at the roots and a little bit of my hair first. And then to finish blowing out my hair, I plan on going in with the Revlon brush blow dryer. The bristles are very movable, they're flexible, but at the same time, they are stiff, so I don't think you have to worry about none of, the, none of these coming off or anything. Um, they are well made. I do like that it's a long handle. It does tend to get hot, like from like here up, but my hand normally stays here, so that's good. So it does have a few settings. It has a cool, low, and a high setting. When I do my hair, I keep mine on the low setting. The cool setting works, but my hair doesn't get as straight, or like it takes longer. So since I wet on my hair probably like four times a year, I pretty much know that my hair can take a lot of heat. So I tend to just do mine on the low setting. The high, it's a little bit too hot so i feel like the low is the heavy median all right so with that being said i'm just going to go over the products that i'm going to be using and then i'm going to be quiet and just let you guys watch me do my hair um i did shampoo my hair with the Maui moisture shampoo and i did do a light protein treatment with the Alphagy two minute reconstructor i followed up with the shea moisture intense hydrating conditioner or hair mask is the brown one with the the something honey in it <laughs> that one i let that sit on for the longest for like almost 10 minutes um and then i just used a towel to towel dry my hair some it's still damp so um i'm going to do my hair in sections so i'm going to re-wet my hair with some water and i have peppermint and lemongrass essential oil in here so it smells really good to moisturize my hair i'm going to be using the my Yellow organics hair milk one of my favorites. For my heat protectant of choice, I am using the Maui Moisture Color Protection and Sea Minerals Heat Shield Mist. To oil my scalp throughout the process, I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Hair Serum. And I may or may not do this, but when I blow dry my hair the first time, applying shea butter to my hair after I had blow dried it some and then I would go over it again with the blow dryer really help my hair to like stay super soft so I may or may not do my shea butter but if so I will be using this and for my hair tools I have hair clips I have my diamond brush I have my small tooth comb for parting and yeah I may take another comb out or get more clips throughout the video but that's pretty much it so if you'd like to see how I use this blow dryer then just keep on watching
episodes. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed how I demonstrated using the brush blow dryer with my tension method. That method works really good for my hair to get my roots dry first and then some of the length of my hair dry and then just going in with a brush blow dryer to just get it straight. I think that that method works really great and if you want to try it out, I say hey, give it a try. I definitely would recommend this brush. Um, again, the only downside is that it doesn't get your roots, but again, the tension method can help with that and you can still use the brush. And I will leave the link for this brush in my description box. If you found this video helpful or you just enjoyed watching, be sure to give me a thumbs up, it really helps. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.